Uh, thanks, Jared. Can you just talk a little bit more about, and the UAW strikes or potential, can you talk about a little more about what the economic impacts would be to a strike? And considering how significant they are, what plans uh, does the president have or what recommendations are you giving the president to step in more to help prevent this, whether bringing them in to, have, to help with negotiations, for example? You know, I don't have a readout on this. Uh, we're closely monitoring the situation. Uh, you know, the Council of Economic Advisors, CEA, I sometimes think of us as uh, constantly evaluating alternatives. So every day we're waking up trying to figure out uh, what, which way things are going. So of course we're going to uh, monitor this on a daily basis. It would be irresponsible not to. Uh, but I don't have a readout on, on the situation. We're monitoring it uh, as it develops. I mean, do you feel, though, that the president should step in more? Or does the president have plans to step in more, perhaps bringing in uh, the negotiators to, to help prevent uh, this from happening? Um, the president's been uh, uh, very much engaged. Uh, not only has he always fought for policies to ensure uh, that uh, uh, workers get a fair deal, uh, but that the uh, he's explicitly talked about the electric vehicle future being made in America by American workers promoting strong and good paying union jobs. He's met with President Fain one on one in the Oval uh, before the UAW briefed senior staff on their negotiating position. He called uh, uh, President Fain on Labor Day and called all big three executives before he left for Asia to con encourage them to provide more forward-leaning offers and stay at the table. So that's what the president has done, and uh, uh, he, he will continue to press on that, as will uh, the team that's monitoring that closely. Got it.